Dear readers, the upcoming book that I am about to present is a historical fiction novel about the true story of the Munitionettes, or Canary Girls, British women who worked in the production of trinitrotoluene shells during World War I. This book offers a compelling and captivating glimpse into the forgotten history of these courageous women and their significant contributions to the war effort, making it a must-read for history enthusiasts and those seeking tales of resilience and empowerment. The plot of the book Canary Girls by author Jennifer Chiaverini is as follows. Rosie the Riveter meets a league of their own in New York Times best-selling novelist Jennifer Chiaverini's lively and illuminating novel about the ammunitionettes who built bombs in Britain's arsenals during World War I, risking their lives for the war effort and discovering camaraderie and courage on the soccer pitch. Early in the Great War, men left Britain's factories in droves to enlist. Struggling to keep up production, arsenals hired women to build the weapons the military urgently needed. Be the girl behind the man behind the gun, the recruitment posters beckoned. Thousands of women, cooks, maids, shop girls, and housewives, answered their nation's call. These ammunitionettes worked grueling shifts often seven days a week, handling TNT and other explosives with little protective gear. Among them is 19-year-old former housemaid April Tipton. Impressed by her friend Marjorie's descriptions of higher wages, plentiful meals, and comfortable lodgings. She takes a job at Thorns Hire Arsenal near London, filling shells in the danger building, difficult, dangerous, and absolutely essential work. Joining them is Lucy Dempsey, wife of Daniel Dempsey, Olympic gold medalist and star forward of Tottenham Hotspur. With Daniel away serving in the footballer's battalion, Lucy resolves to do her bit to hasten the end of the war. When her co-workers learn she is a footballer's wife, they invite her to join the Arsenal Ladies Football Club, the Thorns Hire Canaries. The Canaries soon acquire an unexpected fan in the boss's wife, Helen Purcell, who is deeply troubled by reports that danger building workers suffer from serious, unexplained illnesses. One common symptom, the lurid yellow hue of their skin, earns them the nickname, Canary Girls. Suspecting a connection between the Canary Girls' maladies and the chemicals they handle, Helen joins the Arsenal administration as their staunchest, though often unappreciated, advocate. The football pitch is the one place where class distinctions and fears for their men fall away. As the war grinds on and tragedy takes its toll, the Canary Girls persist despite the dangers, proud to serve, determined to outlive the war and rejoice in victory and peace. Thank you for your attention and happy reading. I would love to hear your thoughts on the presented book's plot. If you feel like sharing your opinion, please leave me a message. Celebrate the magic of reading by sharing this video and help spread the love for books. It won't cost you anything, but it would be a gesture of gratitude for me. Remember, every small gesture can make a difference. To stay updated on literary news, subscribe to the channel.